you guys. Another day, another day out in South Kananaskis. I'm in High Wind Valley again. Um, I'm right at the Winter Gates. I want to do Junction Hill. Uh, Facebook group again, right? They are handy for this sometimes, at least the ones that are not full of just people putting up pictures and stuff, right? Um, Junction, yeah, Junction Hill. So they already went up here. As far as I know, there's not been any snow since. And man, when you have a blazed trail like that, like a whole group goes through, that is pretty, that's a pretty good thing, man. That's something you want to try and follow, right? Why not? Absolutely. All right, I'm in the green one, volume five. Get a quick shot of the number 23, Junction Hill. All right, map number two. You can see some of the stuff I've done, I've started, uh, geez, where the heck's my finger? Here we go. No, I'm on the wrong page. Ah, here we go. Some of the stuff I've done, I've managed to, uh, I've started putting in pen and that, right? Okay, 23. So I am here. That's where the Winter Gate is, right? Right at that junction. And I'm going to try and go up. The trail I'm actually showing is just over here. So it doesn't quite match up 23A, but I'm not worried too much about staying directly on trail. So up here, up here, Junction Hill, and then back, see if I can't check out this 23B on the way down. And down like that. Okay. Know your trail, know your gear. Know your trail. This hill isn't that high, right? Um, I mean, I I don't have any, I don't think I'll have any problems figuring out how to do this. Uh, I know that I have a, a blazed trail that I can probably follow pretty easily, right? Can't completely count on that, but it's pretty good. Also, the trail is on Maps Me. That's one thing that's a little troubling about the latest generation of hikers is they seem to just follow all trails. Don't just, don't look at my video and, and then just follow an all trails trail, like buy a guide, right? Buy a guidebook. I mean, yeah, <laughs> get a map. I mean, do some of the traditional stuff, right? I mean, if anything, it's a good fallback. Anyway, little blurb. Know yourself, uh, I fell a few weeks back and bruised one of my ribs and it still bugs me. So that's a bit of a thing. But other than that, I haven't really gone and done my, any much of any hiking in like, I don't know, 10 days. So I'm pretty well rested. And know your gear. Well, I would get out and show you, but it's windy out there because it's usually windy. But that is my snowshoes and I probably will have to strap them up. Uh, at least coming down. And I have my ice cleats. It is full winter, right? It is February. Even though there's hasn't been a lot of snow lately, there's still, you will find still big drifts of snow out here, so. It's kind of windy, but not too, too bad yet. But, well, as you can hear now, it does come up and down, so. Right by the gate, there's already a trail. So, why not? Follow and see what happens. So, just been up a little bit. And you actually got a real good view of Junction Hill from the roads. Like down there and up there. And I've had a look at it from quite a few of my hikes. So, interesting to try and go and ham the thing off now. Well, the footprints I'm following, they just kind of go up along the creek that just starts down by the, the junction, up on the right side of it, east side of it. I'm not going to sweat too much doing the trail, doing whatever. Just take whatever you can get. It's February, right? Yeah, so I mean, I'm not on the trail that's on WhatsApp, or WhatsApp, Maps Me. I'm not on the... Kananaskis, trail guide trail, whatever. Let's see what happens. Never 
know what to do in winter, man. I had to take off my sweater. I mean, when you're climbing, it just gets too hot, right? And it's probably like plus five or six out here at least. Like the snow is sticky, it's melting. Okay, I've been following this creek for <clears throat> the east side of it for a bit, but now we cross. The snow is so sticky that I'm getting snow pies on the bottom of my ice cleats, which is definitely a source of annoyance. Woo. But I mean, you can see how deep the snow is, what I'd be dealing with if I was doing this blazing my own trail. That's why I'm so eager to follow these guys, right? It's, yeah, even if it's not the official whatever in the Kananasis Trail Guide, I can go do Junction Hill and it's half as hard because I'm in these tracks, then so be it. You know, I kind of like this. It's off the rails, right? This is not following um, trails that are on the app maps. These are not, this is not following the Canada Access Trail Guide. It's just, it adds an element of excitement, right? And I mean, my car is down there. It's, there's no danger in this. <laughs> so it's kind of, yeah, it's kind of cool actually. Just kind of follow. Well, now I'm starting to question this trail a bit more. At first it went up and it was following that creek on the east side and then it crossed. And now it's just straight heading west and it's not climbing or anything. And I'm starting to wonder if it's just like, whoever it is, they just went back to the road down there. They're kind of heading towards uh, the original, like number 23 in the book. But I get to a crossroads here and here's another trail and it's going in the direction of Junction Hill. I think I'm gonna abandon these tracks and I'm gonna go up here. It's, uh, I mean, I wanna climb Junction Hill. I don't wanna pop out follow those tracks and then pop out on some road over there, right? All right. Well, this trail, whatever this is, is taken to following up beside this guy. It even broke off. Another one went up this way. I think there's basically no wrong, I think there's several ways up this thing. There's no wrong way, right? At least up this part. See what happens when you get a little higher. Well, I've almost never seen it this bad, but like, look at this. And that's like every four or five steps. Of course, now it's not sticking, but I mean, I think I'm gonna ditch the cleats. Like, all this is is sticky snow anyway. Oh, now the other one. Yeah, that's, that's driving me nuts. Oh, this is pretty tough. Hopefully I'll get a nice reward when I get up there. Nice view. This is cute. You can tell these guys went down this and they slid <laughs> on their butts. So they got down there. <laughs> I like it. Awesome. Beautiful too, no wind. Wow. You saw me come up this and I've arrived at some kind of road. Trail, whatever, old logging road. You can see that people came here and then they decided to cut down and slid. And here now there's only a couple of tracks. I'm actually not totally sure which way to go. That way it kind of goes downhill. I don't know. I think I'll try this way. This is east. It's swinging that direction, which I sort of want to go. We'll see what happens. Yeah, I believe that was the correct direction. I'm heading slightly uphill now towards Junction Hill again. Well, this is 
Wouldn't be that bad, but with, I don't know what the snowshoes add on, about 15, 20 pounds at most. Maybe, uh, maybe only like 10. Maybe I'm just thinking it's more climbing through the snow. With those on, it definitely gets you going. The route that's on Ask Maps now is only about 100 meters over that way, but clearly it's on the other side of a rise, right? So now that I look at it, it seems this is a totally different thing. Uh, I even saw tracks that are kind of old break off and go into that clearing and climb. I think there's lots of ways to do this bottom stuff. Phew. I have to get out of these trees. I know it's, uh, yeah, I know that it's better once I get out of these trees. The thing about snow and trees is that it will really not go anywhere until like, I don't know, what I've learned over the years, over the years, um, what I'm starting to learn with the snow, the winter hiking is that Snow will generally build until like April, right? Because whatever snow falls in the trees where the sun can't really get at it, it doesn't like melt until it's like here in the mountains, like not in Calgary, here in the mountains, it's like plus 18 and then at night it's plus four. So that you have 24 hours of melt. And the sun is a little more overhead, right? So that it's actually hitting some of the snow because yeah I mean someone told me that March and April is actually the hardest time to be in here so that's something to be careful of I mean some sun hit areas will be dry you know there'll be nothing but then there'll be two feet of snow in the trees so and that's the stuff you got to worry about right Well, animals have kind of messed up my easy trail finding. I mean, they have put trails all over the place and it's become kind of hard to figure out which way to go. But a check of the old uh, map. I mean, there is a trail going this way. Kind of looks like a Peter's out though. I don't know, Junction Hill is that way. So if I really want to climb up this, I feel like the humans did though. I, think, I feel like that might be their trail there and kind of heading up that way. Uh, I don't know. Well, all the animal tracks made me lose the human tracks and I looked around a bunch. I think they went down there someplace. Junction Mountain's that direction. That's where the trail on the Atmas goes and now there's no more Animals breaking it, so I'm on my own. I'm on my own. Just pray that I reacquire the tracks over here and pray the snow doesn't get too damn deep. All right, didn't take me long. You can see how these are kind of square, rectangular. These are old snowshoe, snowshoe uh, prints. Ah, oh, much better. Well, I beat my way out of that. I'm into this little clearing. According to the app maps, which really I'm going by that now, there should be a trail just up in here. We'll see. I can check out that rock over there. It's kind of orange. Kind of got some weird orange on it. But oh. Cool. Well, I've wandered in here a bit. Let's see how this direction now. This is up the. This is up in the Highwood Pass somewhere. I think this is uh, my goal. Sure isn't going very well though. I have not played this real great. Well, I'm gonna go down this up. Yeah, I mean, what else do I do, right? I'll 
keep going on for now, but I've used up a lot of energy. Well, I have found something, but all I've got to help me is a whole bunch of animal tracks that go everywhere. Animal tracks help a tiny bit, but not much, you know? Not as much as that well-beaten path was. And even then, the climbing wasn't so easy on that. All right. Well, I'm trying not to talk too loud. I have to keep this nice and tight so that the wind doesn't get at it. This is nice and clear as snow, but there's a lot of wind, all right? I might be able to hammer my way up this the rest of the way. It's still a ways from here. I don't know. I've thought a few times now about turning back. You know, I have not played this very well. Oh. But this part here is clear. I came down off this. I was pretty much up there. I did ascend and I came back up and now it's good on snow. Hmm. Well, I just don't have it in me today. This is too much. I've climbed up all that dry part and now I'm starting to get to the snow drifts again. As far as I can tell, I'm not close. I'm not close to Junction Mountain. And I am tired, man. My legs are heavy. Sometimes you just gotta turn back, right? You can't always, 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 always just go, 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 go. And I'm pretty bad for that. I will push, but if you don't ever turn back, you will die out here. At some point, just push too far. And today, like this valley, trying to do it in shoulder season and winter, it has turned me back more than any other place. Highwood is a challenge. Kind of hiding behind this tree. I was down there, I climbed up this, right? Here's what it's starting to become. Big drifts, I'd have to find my way around. This part here would be fine, but it's just a matter of, you know, yeah. I don't know where that group went, the group that I saw on Sheep River Ramblers, but it wasn't here. They know this better than I do, clearly. What a view from up here. This is Mount Burke. You can see the, the lookout. See all that flat part? That's Plateau Mountain, which I went and did at one point, which is really, really cool. All right, let's see if I can do this without getting hit by wind too much, but don't count on it. Oh, baby. Well, I'm back down where I was before. I've come down this guy. The way Jill describes it, you come up from here, and then she describes this as a coal. And then, you know, you climb up that. So I was, you know, I have basically made it to, onto number 23 in the guide. I thought about going down there, but I feel like it'll be a lot of snow. Mind you, the way I went kind of over this thing and around down there, it was also a lot of snow, but at least I know maybe I would find those human tracks again. I mean, if I just follow my own prints, but yeah. I mean, there's a part of me that wants some more adventure too, right? Even though my resolve to get to the top of this thing is basically gone. It's cold and I feel like if I went up here, I'd be coming down for like an hour, hour and a half in the dark. I mean, it's a kilometer from the top of that thing, right? This, yeah. I don't know, I have my snowshoes. Going down in snowshoes on deep snow is not the end of the world, right? It is definitely time to unleash the hot chocolate. You know, I might be having a tough time out here. That's what happens in winter. Ugh, but I mean, good Lord, you know. Look at this, hot chocolate, the view. I like my job, so a bad day in the mountains is not better than a good day at work because a good day at work is pretty awesome. But I mean, it's still pretty cool, man.
right? I like living in Calgary for that. I like the Kananaskis. I like the mountains. You just drive out and do it. Cheers. Well, I came down a dry ridge for a bit, and now the dry part is over, and I've gotten into the deep snow. And yeah, you can see what's going on. Woo! I don't mind doing this, you know. This is, uh, I think it's actually more fun to go downhill in the winter than it is in, you know, in the summer. The summer is hard on the knees and yeah, in the winter you're just kind of sliding. I mean, look at this, you know, this is kind of, <laughs> kind of fun. I've, I've, I've killed off most of the elevation already. You can see down here that it's going to level out somewhat. So this is kind of the, almost the end of the steep part, I think. All right. I feel like I'm starting to see blazes around, but there's also a lot of animal tracks and it could be elk and stuff rubbing their antlers on these things, right? Never quite know. Wow. If you're trying to find human tracks down here, good luck because the animals have again made a spider web and I mean, you can see it's animals everywhere. I mean, humans don't really squirt pee out <laughs> as they, I mean, yeah, they will usually walk off trail and make a big hole of pee, not just a tiny little indentation. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going, I mean, I'm going down, I'm going towards the road, so yeah, I'm not too worried about things. Man, how does that even happen to a tree? Like this massive, massive wound, like, Half the tree is open to everything, and yet it's fine. There's even like little black marks, like, yeah. And of course the woodpeckers have taken some chunks out of it. That one too, not as bad though. A whole bunch of them in all this direction. I wonder how that works. Okay, I've come down to a creek. I keep following it uh, at about 700 meters, I should get to the road. So there's some nice little gear tracks or elk tracks, so why not? Well, I've been just tramping nicely through, uh, through the forest. Oh my, look at this. I have not been bear calling, clearly, look. And now I'm talking and they're not going anywhere. They must hear me. I was just gonna say that like, look, and you know, this is where these guys were all just lying down. Look at all that. You guys are the ones making all my trails. <laughs> all the spider webs it tracks. You're the reason I lost it. Oh, that's funny. Here's where they hang out. Look at the big, deep things of snow. I hope by my like walking through here, they don't like abandon. This is obviously where they hang out. I mean, this is their territory, right? Oh, now they're now they're leaving. Now they finally decided that I'm. I mean, they closed down that road. It's for wildlife, and so it's for them. They're going that way. I think I'm gonna head down here. Try to give them the appropriate space. Oof. I'll try anyway. This is deep snow. Whoa, really deep. Whew. I'm in the open. Oh, there goes a deer. Two deer. Woo, nice jump. Hey, buddy. Checking me out. Oh, there she goes. Oh, yeah. Oh, big jump. Go back to your mate. I won't bother you. At least not any more than I have. Oh, 
All right, I am looking south at a wonderful view. This grassy knoll here, that's what you think is Junction Hill when you look at it. <laughs> that's just like the first top. That's not even, you know, and then there's back here. Maybe that's it. Or maybe that's the one I just, I don't even know. But that's not it. That looks easy. It looks nice. This could be interesting. Here's the road, and this might be the deepest snow I've seen all day. Okay. <laughs> Let's use these, whatever these are, footprints. Okay. How are we doing here? All right, that's not bad. I'm not having to army crawl yet, so that's good. <laughs> a chunk. Oh, is there snowmobile tracks? Yeah, there is. Okay. All right. Oh, it's beautiful. Gorgeous day. Lots of people just come and walk down the old road. Oh, it's not old, it's just closed right now. Here's what you'd envision Junction Hill to be, but that's not it. It's back there someplace. And uh, I mean, I didn't bring my gators, I forgot them. And man, have I paid the price. Holy crap. Ugh, okay, let's see here. Oh. Okay. You. <laughs> I've been carrying this around. Ugh. Out of there. Ouch. There you go. Okay. <laughs> Other. Look at that. Good lord. With these pants, like their little flap inside here, you've got to have gaiters. I mean, I've been dealing with this a lot of winter hiking, but now I'm spoiled. Now I don't want to anymore. Okay. You know what? I'm very surprised to find that I am 2.3 kilometers away from the car. Like, damn. So I got some road walking to do, but I'm not complaining, man. The sun's out. It's beautiful. This will be fun. <laughs> Just check the book. The access that Jill describes is 1.3 kilometers away from the gate, and I am 2.3 kilometers away, so <laughs> not even remotely close. But it gives me something to do on the way back, and I can look for it. Because, right, there's always, uh, yeah, I mean, there's always next time, right? I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna take care of yet another loose end out in the Highwood Valley. Well, I'm enjoying this. Alan Armstrong, huh? The sun is just about to go down. The, what, the eastern part? There it is, there's Mount Muir. I have never driven down this. I've never gone and driven down, like all the way through Highwood Pass and everything. So this is cool. I'm seeing it all for the first time from this angle. Well, they can't all be winners. I've got several loose strands, <laughs> loose ends in this valley. <laughs> God. Mount Man, Zephyr Pass, now this. Coyote Hills, sort of, too, you know. Oh, my. <laughs> yeah, nothing like doing a hike and not getting where you want to go. And then it's like, that just, uh, it just sticks in the back of your head. But you know, I quite enjoyed, after I decided to stop, I quite enjoyed it. I came down, that was a really nice walk through the forest. I saw a country that no one else sees because Jillian's trail wasn't even close. There wasn't even a footprints going up number 23 out of the book. So 
everyone, you know, people are just doing this right from this gate, which you can just start hiking up. Not the way I did. You can head on the other side of the gate and just start going up the hills. And, you know, they're fairly windswept and stuff, right? There's not a lot of snow. So, anyway, it's not what I did. God knows. No one, no one will ever do that one again. That's a completely unique uh, hike. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my. Well, one of my favorite lines from uh, Bad Santa was, uh, they can't all be winners. But it's still pretty sweet to get out in nature and uh, check things out. And, you know, I did half of Junction Hill. Get out there and hike. <laughs>